We've all had moments where we've thought we did the unthinkable. Most of us sadly don't have a camera on us at all times to capture these things happening, but few people are lucky enough to be caught on video when they somehow make the impossible seem possible. Ready to see these awesome people? Let's get it on! This is hardly an achievement, but it's one of the most amazing things you'll ever see. It's a guy falling off his skateboard. But wait, it was accidentally timed so perfectly that the board misses hitting anyone by rolling between the legs of not just one, but two people who are right in front of it. Don't you wish life came together this perfectly all the time? Sometimes you don't even need to try. Something you did just somehow turns into something awesome. You're probably thinking, this guy's gonna hit that baseball in some amazing way. Nope, it's even more impressive than that. Usually, casually flinging something over your shoulder isn't anything to get excited about, but this baseball bat had other ideas. For some reason, and no, I can't explain it, it bounces and lands upright on its head. That is not the way bats usually like to stand. Maybe it's not impossible, I'm no scientist, but it's definitely not likely to ever happen again. Remember the water bottle challenge? Good. This is basically the same idea, but it makes the water bottle challenge look like child's play. And ironically, it's also done by an actual child, so that phrase probably needs changing. This kid attempted to flip a pencil, which somehow landed face up. That should have been impossible. There's no water inside a pencil that would help it land upright. In every way, this should have never worked. And yet, somehow, it did. Judging by the look on his face, he also thought it was insane to even try it. He can't believe he got it right, but he did. And frankly, he deserves an award. I'm warning you now, this is one of those things that even though you're seeing it with your own two eyes, my question is what the hell? There's no part of your brain that can believe a human can actually do it. This is Shamika Campbell, and she can limbo like nobody else on earth. These bars are just 12 inches high, but the lowest limbo isn't even the Guinness World Record she's trying to break. She's going for the longest distance to limbo under 12 inch bars. She stole the record with just over 10 feet 2 inches. How low can you go has just been taken to the next level. I'm sure most of you dream of having reflexes fast enough to stop a punch in midair. Maybe for most of us, it's a little too much to ask for. But with the right kind of training, people can do amazing things. The balls coming out of this pitching machine are traveling at 100 miles per hour, and the swordsman, to make things a little more difficult, is just feet away. Cutting the ball in half would be impossible for us, but not him. He moves so fast I almost didn't even have reflexes fast enough to see it, and before you ask, he definitely did cut the ball in half. There are records, and then there are world records that smash the previous ones in a way that makes you think you'll never see anyone beat them. This is one of those unbeatable records for sure. Have a look at this absolutely incredible stunt by David Wise. That's him breaking the record for the highest pre-ski air on a hip. Sure, it looks high even to an untrained eye, but how impossibly high was it really? He destroyed the previous record set at 36 feet 11 inches with his jump that measured an insane 46.5 feet. That's 9.8 feet better than the previous title holder. Well, good luck to anyone trying to better Wise's record because it probably can't be done. Most people who are looking for a little adrenaline rush turn to roller coasters. They're just exciting and fun enough to give thrill seekers what they're looking for without risking too much. At least that's true if you're riding roller coasters the normal way and not the way Dirk Auer decided to try it. Instead of doing it the safe way, he decided to roller skate down a roller coaster with none of the safety gear usually offered by roller coasters. He's fighting the G-forces from flinging him into the old timbers. It could have gone very badly, which probably won't surprise you, but luckily for him, it all went well as he skated into the record books, making this impossible stunt look easy. Just because loads of people skateboard doesn't mean that doing it well is easy. It's actually a pretty difficult sport. This stunt takes it beyond difficult, though. Now, I've seen people struggle with basic leapfrog on the ground, but to attempt it on a skateboard over not one, but two people is just crazy. It seems so likely to fail that most people would never even have thought to try it. These guys are not most people, though, and they proved that by not only attempting, but actually executing that unbelievable stunt with all three of them on skateboards and it's every bit as amazing as they probably imagined it would be. 
Most people wouldn't be brave enough to launch themselves off a 24-story high ski ramp under any circumstances. It's dangerous at the best of times, and even the pros can and do make mistakes attempting stuff like that. Adding a spin while you're flying through the air makes it even more dangerous. But to do all of that backwards? Well, probably anyone would have said it was impossible until Sammy Carlson did it. Luckily, instead of it all going as badly as people would have expected, he nailed it and proved to everyone watching that it was possible. But still, I don't think anyone else will be attempting it anytime soon. Humans weren't designed to fly, so of course any sport that puts us in the skies is bound to be dangerous. They require so much skill, even on just a basic level, and so most people stay far away from them. So it's anyone's guess how this man is capable of the precision landing in this clip. One minute, he's flying through the air. The next, he's sitting on a bench like he's been there all day. No big deal. How did he even get anywhere near the bench, never mind actually land on it? Guess we'll never know. There's a reason why people love tennis. It's because every now and again, someone lands a shot like this one and it's simply miraculous. Rallies always get exciting when a player moves to the net like Pablo Cuevas did here. But this time, unfortunately, he put himself on the back foot. Or did he? Anyone else would have definitely lost that point, but not him. He simply pulls out a crazy backward, no-look shot that sails past his opponent perfectly. That kind of shot would never work in most people's hands. But Cuevas is no ordinary man. He doesn't need to aim to land a perfect shot. Football is a notoriously exciting game. There's no shortage of matches filled with incredible moments, so for a single moment to stand out, it has to be really spectacular. Zlatan Ibrahimovic definitely managed to score one of those goals that'll go down in history. This goal is only one of the four he scored against England in this match, but it was definitely the most incredible. Most football players never even attempt bicycle kicks, let alone trying it from 35 yards away from the goal would have resulted in nothing for most players. But he actually scores, making this one of the most impossible kicks to actually land in the net ever. Have you ever tried skimming stones? It's not even nearly as easy as it looks, is it? Dougie Isaacs is the Guinness World Record holder for furthest stone skimming. Actually, he's that record holder eight times, and his most recent attempt was actually to beat a record already set by him. It's so calming to watch until you realize just how far that stone is traveling, and then it keeps going and going. How far was that? You won't believe this, but it traveled 400 feet. When most of us can't skim a stone just 4 feet, 400 really is one of those incredible records that aren't likely to be stolen in our lifetimes, except maybe by Isaacs again. Elevators were invented for a reason. Humans just can't climb a building as fast on their own as an elevator can. But Polish speed climber Marcin Dzienski decided that he might just be faster than an elevator and set out to prove it. His team built a special six-story high climbing wall for him, which in fact is much higher than most. Turns out, he was right. Somehow he's actually faster than an elevator. But the rest of us should stick to taking the elevator because there's no way we can do that. There we go. Freaking fast. You don't need to play golf to know that large bodies of water are not your friend if they get in the way of your ball. Unless you're John Rahm. Then you might want to go looking for a couple more ponds. At the Masters, he decided to take a shot and just ignore the fact that there's no ground between him and the hole. Now that's a kind of risk only the very best golfers would take. Miraculously, he managed to skip the ball over the water as it went all the way into a hole in one. There are so many things going on here that should have never been possible.